Hi, my name is Tim Chang. I'm 18 years old. I just want to know why we haven't sent astronaut to Mars yet. Hello, I'm Jeff Delarosa, Managing Science Editor at Worldbook, and we're here at Adler Planetarium in Chicago to learn why astronauts have not yet been to the planet Mars. In 1969, the Apollo 11 astronauts became the first human beings to walk on the moon. Over the next several years, five more Apollo missions landed there. Given the success of the Apollo program, we might wonder why it's taken so long to reach the next tempting destination, the planet Mars. The most important answer is time. It took the Apollo 11 astronauts only a few days to reach the moon. It might take astronauts six months to reach Mars. Over such a long trip, astronauts would struggle with the psychological pressures of living in a tight space with a small group of people. In the absence of gravity, they'd be forced to exercise constantly to keep their bones and muscles from growing weaker. And far from home, they'd be unable to return to Earth in the event of an emergency. Perhaps the greatest threat to any future Mars mission is radiation from the sun. From time to time, storms on the sun unleash radiation that can cause deadly harm to human tissues. Here on Earth, the planet's magnetic field protects us from such radiation. But in space, astronauts would have no such protection. Over the few days it takes to reach the moon, astronauts are unlikely to encounter a deadly solar storm. But over the several months it would take to reach Mars, they're almost certain to be exposed to deadly levels of radiation. If human beings are ever to walk on the red planet, scientists and engineers will have to solve this and other problems. In the meantime, we'll have to settle for sending probes, like this Mars exploration rover, and for visiting museums such as this one. 